hey what is going on guys in this video I'll be showing you how you can make uh, your text reveal behind an object so let me just show quickly show an example right here as you can see this uh, skater and with a skateboard and uh, as it moves across the camera you'll see that the text will start to appear so this is one example and I'm going to show you another example right over here of this cable car and you see that this object this thing the cable car moves across the uh, camera and uh, your text starts to appear behind that cable car so this effect works best if you have a clip or if you have something moving across the camera from example from something from left to right or right to left so yeah let's let me show you how to create this effect in HitFilm Express. So I'm going to click on new and uh, I'll create a new template. I'll choose 1080p full HD at 60 frames per second and then click on start compositing. Now just import your video that you would like to use. I'm just going to use this video right here. I'm going to double click on it to import it and I'm going to just drag this onto my timeline like that. So let me just play this video and uh, show you what this is about so this is about a bus coming uh, from the right side and going moving towards the left so again it's uh, moving the thing the object is in this video is this bus and it is moving across the camera so i think this is this clip is perfect for such kind of effect the texture feel effect so let's create a new text layer I'm gonna set the width to 600 and height to 300 and then click on OK. I'm gonna select the text tool. You can hit the T key on your keyboard to select that or you just click over here to select it. Now I'm gonna type in some text. So right now all I can see in this scene is a light. So I'm just gonna type in lights and I'm gonna choose a Unisense font. <clears throat> and increase the font size to about 190 I'm just gonna position it I'm gonna position it right somewhere over here okay once you do once you position your text I'm gonna add a curves adjustment to this clip so I'm just gonna drag this on top of my video Yeah, after you have your clip ready now what you have to do is expand this text layer and uh, just move your playhead forward uh, at a position where your object in this case the bus is about to intersect or overlap the text so right here as you can see this is the scene where the text is overlapping my object and I'm just gonna move one frame in fact two frames backwards and I think that I think I'm just gonna keep my playhead at that position now select the make sure your text layer is selected and then select the freehand mask tool you can press F on your keyboard to select that as well now what you have to do is create a simple mask like this around your object. I'm just going to create a mask like that and uh, close this shape like this. Now uh, let's expand the mask properties and you have this transform. Expand that as well. Now at that position just create a keyframe at that position by clicking on the circle icon. Now you can use your period key on your keyboard to move to the next frame yes like that or you can even move this playhead at, a, at any specific position now what you want to do is want to keep the mask and want to move the mask uh, along with the bus so as you can see our mask is not where the bus is right now so I'm gonna position it where 
the uh, I'm gonna position it properly so just like that can move forward a few frames and uh, move this uh, mask to the left making sure that you close the move the mask along with the uh, along with the bus so, so let's for example right here I'm just gonna move it over to the left like that and uh, so I'm gonna do this till the entire text uh, disappears so I'm doing this really quick but the more time you take with this the more better your scene will look so I'm just gonna play this and see what it looks like so I think that is looking pretty fine you can also expand the text layer expand the mask and then you'll have the shape if you just expand it you'll have this feather strength right here you can just increase the feather strength to about three pixels or so and your text will start to blend into the scene so I'm just gonna stick with that I'm just gonna move to the next step now I want my text to start appear once this bus leaves the scene so I'm just gonna expand this text layer expand the mask I'm just gonna uncheck this mask for a moment to so that I can see the text I'm gonna move forward a couple of frames and uh, I think right there I want to create another mask I'm just gonna again use the freehand masks tool and uh, create a simple shape and make sure you are so you have the text layer selected I think I should move a frame backwards and do this again okay now again put the transform of your second mask create a keyframe at that position and uh, move forward and uh, keep on changing the position you can also zoom in with the scroll wheel and uh, can move forward okay now you once you've done that let's see how it looks I'm just gonna play this also make sure you have your first mask just make sure you have this this box is ticked and I'm just gonna play this and see how it looks and yeah on the your second mask you make sure you click on this icon to invert the mask yeah, that is really important so as you can see it is looking pretty fine you can also add a uh, feather to it add some feather to it and uh, I think that wraps up this tutorial I hope this video was helpful if it was please do hit the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in the next video